Welcome back. Would not be a Thursday without our good friend Tate from Wildcat Brothers. Thank you so much for coming back. Absolutely. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. You got Mardi Gras cocktails again for us. We do. So, uh, you know, kind of in carnival season, we try to keep uh, a Mardi Gras theme. And today we're calling it a Mardi Gras mule. I love so, this already. So the um, now I wish one of the, the wishes that I had is that we can grow lavender here at, 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 uh, at Gator Cove or Acadiana, but we yeah. can't. So instead we use lavender bitters, which is just kind of give a little hint of lavender. So that's going to be our purple touch. Okay. And today we're, this is a great cocktail to actually have on a parade route because you can build it in the glass. Okay. Um, so depending on, on the, the um, you know, your, your rum intake, would you like, we put about, a, <laughs> we put about an ounce and a half of rum in each one of these glasses. But again, this is a, a mule, you can, you can kind of take it and make it a, however strong you want to make it. Yeah. So it's, it's a really easy drink, especially again, if you're watching a parade. But I wouldn't do it in a glass, you know, in an actual glass. If you're on the parade route, that can get a little dangerous. That's Just a little bit. Very dangerous. Very, very that dangerous. Would be Taylor's Things mistake as a, get you know, a Floridian. Get get a, ni a nice tumbler. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know you yeah, definitely don't do it getting beads off the ground because we, we know that there's, there's <laughs> you an issue with that. Tapes. I mean, you know. Two per day. So, right, so we're gonna put a little hint of lime now. <laughs> oh wow, that's, that's a little. Let me, uh, little squirt of lime. Okay, well, it you know, was a hint. It was a hint. Typically, typically what we do here with lime is we actually squeeze a real lime, but. If you're going to use it in the, the bottle, remember, the one ingredient rule. And then actually we're going to top it with uh, ginger beer. Now, actually, Adam, I'll let you stir. And Ooh. you're going to be stirring on the way here. And Taylor, I'll let you put the garnish, Ooh, just as always. My favorite job. Now, look, if we had a, a, a nice uh, garnish of lavender, we put a lavender sprig in here. We could actually put some, um, you know, edible purple flowers if you want to really fancy, fancy it up. But uh, if you just, you know, don't want to do that, you can just drink your mule by itself. Now, why Beautiful. did you use the fee filet? So fee filet is our spiced rum. So in here, uh, it adds a different kick to the mule. So our spiced rum is going to be spiced uh, naturally. We don't use any chemical flavorings in our stuff. So it's going to hmm. be cinnamon, allspice, vanilla, coffee, and black peppercorn. Ooh. So it's going to be a nice different um, expression of the mule. <laughs> so, uh, and, and with this lavender and the ginger, lavender and ginger play just so well together. Um, I'm I, excited I, to, because yeah. I love so, lavender and I love a mule. I think I texted you that. I'm like, too Oh, you much. can smell the like cinnamony flavor you, you to can, it. You can Ooh. get some, some, some nice, some nice sense of cinnamon. Uh, and also, you know, if it's cold during Mardi Gras, it's a nice warm up drink. Oh, this is nice. I like that. I really yeah. like Ooh. it. Yeah. I like the spice. I've never had, I don't think I've had a spiced mule before, but I really like the, the spiciness mm -hmm. of it. It, it ginger is one of these these ingredients that, that the mules really play well with, and and we use ginger beer. So ginger beer, people ask the difference a bit between ginger ale and ginger beer. Ginger beer is kind of just really pumped up, mm -hmm. you know, with with the ginger, as opposed to ginger ale being more of like a soft drink. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and ginger beer also is non alcoholic, so it's not adding to it. So in this cocktail, the only alcohol you're really using is, is, is the people. people. This yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes people like it, and, and the reason some people like it a little more uh, acidic or sour, so you can add more more lime. But this is really a drink that is kind of a crowd pleaser because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's tough to find somebody who doesn't like a good meal. This is perfect. And Actually, do you guys have... Oh, oh, go ahead. Go, go on. No, you, no, go. No, you go. You go. Okay. <laughs> I'll go first. There you go. You guys have happy hour tonight. We do. Tonight we have the Wayne Burns Blues Band starting Ooh. at 6 o'clock at Gator Cove. Um, so y'all come out and see us. And actually we are... Uh, we're having a lot of activities at Gator Cove, so if you go to GatorCove.com, it's going to go right up to our calendar, and you'll see all the stuff we're doing throughout the uh, the month. What? Sounds, That's I awesome. saw Zydeco yep. class dance. Was it Zydeco we're, dance? We're doing some dancing, and, and there actually may be some fun things that we're doing with our friend Mariah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh -oh. making some announcements pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's, happy uh, Feet will be staying happy home. Happy Feet. Oh, we're get gonna ready. Get happy feet. We're going to get happy feet, out you're going to be sponsored. The official, you're going to be sponsored by <laughs> Wildcat <laughs> Brothers to dance. Oh, Don't worry about it, bud. I will say, you know, usually I'm not a huge fan of mules because they have almost like a zing to them, like a really sharp sure. zing. This is very it pleasant like to the fuzzy. palate. Yeah, it's like it's like a fuzziness. Yeah, it, nice it's, it's and the, the, the lavender kind of evens it out. So when you put bitters in it, and all bitters are, you know, if people who bake at home, you know, vanilla extract, those are types of, that's a type of bitter. It's just a way to kind of ease out and, and, and mellow or bring the, flav yeah. the flavors together. So it, it we're, kind of adds We're out of time, but yeah. hang out. We're gonna be right back after this. I thought you said Michael, and I was like, Well, oh. Michael would probably go chase off of them, too, you know? <laughs> I love this. Adam, thank you for that weather update. And Tate, as always, knocked it out of the park with uh, this. I drink. have not had a bad drink from Tate yet. No, which is you. very Never. impressive. I will say, 
I'm sorry. I, I liked it, but the old, I'm not a, I'm not an old fashioned person, but I did enjoy it. That's the one old fashioned oh. I did like when you did the smoke. Well, thank you. Oh. Uh, that was my favorite drink so far. We obviously well, have different palettes. And look, one of the great things about about running a distillery and 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 doing co making cocktails is that yeah, we know everybody's tastes are different, mm -hmm. and it's okay to for people to say. And we love when people say this may not be my flavor, or how can we fix it to yeah. uh, to to get it to be my flavor. Go visit them, Absolutely. Gator Cove. Everything you need to meet our website, klef.com. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.